Hey everyone, I'm Michael Short. Come on, let's go outdoors. Well, we're down here in southwestern Alberta within the Ghost uh, region uh, along the eastern slopes and in particular, we're along Wipress Creek and one of its small tributaries where for decades, this culvert system has been a blockage to fish passage, but not for long. Trout Unlimited Canada has been focused on this culvert for some time. And while this may not look like much right now, this tiny tributary can play an essential role in enhancing West Slope cutthroat trout habitat. Well, when a lot of people look at the creek, they look at, is it fish habitat? And we look at, is it fish habitat, but also, does it have the potential to be better fish habitat? And so we're looking with our very optimistic eyes at the future and what this could be. And that's what we're aiming for. This project has the added benefit of feeding into Alberta's Native Trout Recovery Program. Yeah, this is absolutely part of our Native Trout Recovery efforts. So Wipers Creek and this whole watershed is home to bull trout and West Slope cutthroat trout. As we know, both are at-risk species. And this is a high priority watershed for recovery. So when we're considering and designing projects, we're looking at being really strategic, looking at a watershed upstream, downstream, all around. What are the land uses? What can we do? Um, so ultimately, we're trying to create more home and more opportunity for those native trout. In preparation for the final culvert installment, this section of the creek is going to be dewatered. But before that can happen, uh, Trout Unlimited biologists uh, will have to make sure that there are no fish in this stretch of the uh, tributary. So we have a, a block net set up here to exclude fish from the construction area. We have one upstream here and one downstream. And uh, basically we, we want to keep fish from getting back in here. So we've electrofished through here a number of times. We've caught a few fish, but we want to make sure there's none left and that no other fish can get into this area. Now once satisfied, fish are no longer in between the barriers. It's time to divert the stream in order to remove the old culverts. One of the more interesting facts about this project here in Wipers Creek is the fact that uh, these old culverts, this design will not be used in the new system going in. It was really important to Trout Unlimited Canada and the other partners that something innovative be used. And so for the first time in Southern Alberta, a company out of Victoria, BC has developed an arch system that will allow more fish and more water to pass through unencumbered. Exactly, the round pipes are typically designed to move uh, water and water only uh, and as the water comes towards the round pipe it typically uh, backwaters the inlet, the sediment, uh, water slows down at the inlet, the sediment drops out and then it accelerates out the end of the pipe and scours a hole and then Next thing you know, the fish can't get into the pipe because the outlet of the pipe is perched. Uh, we refer to them as a GRS arch. So basically, uh, instead of putting all the load on the steel structure and on the concrete footings that hold up the steel structure, we share the load between the steel and the uh, reinforced soil that surrounds the steel. So we basically try, try to get everything to act together rather than just putting all the load on the steel and then transferring that load onto the foundation. So by eliminating those things, we can uh, uh, those uh, complex and expensive elements, we can actually build a, a larger, uh, bigger openings for, for the creek to actually flow. There's a lot of fish down in this area. There's a lot of culverts. Uh, you expect there's probably, uh, you know, uh, several tens of thousands, if not a few hundred thousand culverts that are barrier to fish passage in Alberta. That's comparable to what we have in BC. It's going to take a while to get them out, but we're focusing on the ones that are definitely causing the problems and uh, opening up fish habitat so they've got the fish have a place to spawn and a place to rear and a, and a place to uh, escape from other larger fish. Well, Elliot, how does it feel to see that last culvert come out? Yeah, it feels good. Uh, yeah, they've been there since uh, like the late 60s, so sometime between the late 60s and now, uh, this ceased to be passable to fish, so fish moving upstream from Wipers Creek couldn't pass here, so this is kind of the end of that chapter and then we're just beginning the, the new chapter which is going to be uh, an unimpeded uh, passage here for fish so that's exciting. And now that the survey work is completed and the stream bed is all smoothed out it was finally time to place the culverts.
volunteers added finishing touches by planting willow stakes and native plant seeds to help recover the site more quickly. Pulling up the old culvert and replacing it with a new system is certainly a major milestone, but it's not the end of the story here on Wipers Creek. The next step is ensuring that there is a continuous flow of water through this area, and that's the subject of our next story. Till then, I'm Michael Short. Come on, everyone. Let's go outdoors. <laughs>